the Father in you. I want us to explore the Bible and find ourselves and see the Father in me. Do I meet the credentials of the Father that is depicted in the Bible? The Father that is shown in the Word of God. Do I fit in the bill as a Father? The Father in me. Do I relate with the Word of God? Yes, I'm a Father. I'm a proud Father of two biological daughters and so many other daughters. And sons, but do I fit in the bill of God as a father? Praise the Lord. Ask your neighbor, are you ready to find yourself? Oh, are we just today here celebrating fathers and just saying worldwide that we are celebrating fathers and we have not been fathers indeed? It is good to find ourselves. In the, word, in the word of God. Fathers play a very important role in Christian families. We are called upon to be examples. A father is called upon to be an example. In the Christian family, in the Christian walk, we cannot just be, but we are called to be, to lead by example, by one, faith. Our faith as Christian fathers I'm not just talking to any other kind of a father, but I'm talking to Christian fathers. And I said, ladies, you're also taking yourself and picturing yourself, finding yourself as fathers. So when I'm talking about fathers, it is not the biological men, but each one of us by the roles that we play in our families. So we are supposed to lead by example in matters faith. What is your faith in your family? What is it that people, what is it that your children find in you in matters of faith? Are you well grounded to be a father in the matters of faith in your family? Can you lead your children? Can you lead others around you in matters of faith as a father? This is leading by example. We lead by becoming loving and compassionate. And I know I'll be mentioning this. And also teaching your children the ways of God. Showing them right from wrong. And wrong from that which is right. We lead by examples. But today allow me to take you in a biblical journey. A text, a few texts that I want us to look at. As we find ourselves and see where God had placed man. And where we find God coming in. Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 29 to 31. I want us to find ourselves just reading a few texts. Not very long texts. But I want you to find a few things that I want you to figure out as a father. Because many a times we are celebrated. We have received gifts. And thank you ladies in the church for remembering us. Oh yes. Sibwana asifiwe. Sihapo ni pazuri. Sisasa tumepeleka zawadi nyumbani by being a father. But do you rejoice because of that gift? Do you? Do you really deserve that gift? Do I really deserve this gift? Deuteronomy chapter 129, Sami and your team. Verse 29 and 31. If we can't find it, I'll read my manual. Okay. Then I say to you, do not be terrified. Do not be afraid of them. The Lord your God who is going before you will fight for you as he did for you in Egypt before your very eyes. 31 and the most important that I want to mention. And in the wilderness, there you saw how the Lord your God carried you as a father carries his son all the way you went until you reached this place. I want to mention a few things that you find in this text. He is giving a narrative of what the Lord does and how the Lord walked with the children of Israel when they were in trouble, when they were having issues, when they were facing their enemies, that the Lord God was with them. He walked with them and he did not only walk with them. The Bible depicts that God 
carried them as a father carries. So what does the father do? The father carries. When? Even when things are tough, right? You see, they are coming out from war. They are coming from facing their enemies. But the father did not leave their children. God did not depart from the children of Israel. The Bible records that he carried them all through to the place where they reached a place of their victory. So it is a father's responsibility to carry their children even when they are in challenges and to, to work with their children to encourage them to empower them that they may be able to overcome the challenges that they face in life and have you been a faithful father carrying your children carrying your family those around you when they are in need do they find you do they find comforting hands to carry them through that they may be able to make it in life. Do we have a father who has walked with their children or it comes a time that you will just tell them you are now on your own, but we find God. Moses is saying, God carried you as a father carries his son all the way you went until you reached this place. It's because God was present. So when as a father, you need to carry your children, you need to take care of your family. And it doesn't matter there's so many wars that will happen around that family, but you need to be there to encourage them, to fight for them, to feed, for, to feed them. You need to be present. Do you carry your family? Do you walk with them? Do they find that comfort as a father? Or oh, we are just proud being called Baba so and so, but we do not carry our family. Do you have that burden that you will be counted even in tough times? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Ask your neighbor, how far do you carry your family? How far do you carry your sons and your daughters? Mothers, how far do you carry your children? How far do you take care of these families? We find one of the attributes of a father is to carry. That is how God did it. And we see we have no escape. We have no excuse because God did it and he is the one who empowers us so we can be able to do this. But many a times we are waiting for the years to be celebrated. It is all over Facebook. It is all over social media. It is all over radio stations. People are saying, happy Father's Day. People will even buy stickers to put on their vehicles. Happy Father's Day. But are you a happy father who has carried their family all this far? Hallelujah. How I celebrate fathers who have carried their families through thick and thin. Amen. We have to be there for our families. We do not just have to be called fathers. But we have to carry them. We have to fight the battles. If you go back to Vastari, the Bible says that they fought their battles. There were issues. In your family, there will forever be issues with your children. And it will not be easy. Because of their choices and your choices. Because of their environment and your environment. And you understand the environment we are in here. It's very different from where we grew up. So you will find our families are having issues because the children have this choice and you want them to be grounded like we were grounded and they tell you this is our season, this is our place. So there are issues. You need to work with that family. Don't let them get lost. Will you be there to carry them? Will you be there? Sometimes do you think it is easy to carry someone? How did God carry them? Some were injured, but he still carried them. When your children are injured, do you still carry them? Or you just want to celebrate them like you celebrated your son yesterday? And when he is down, do you still carry him? Do you still celebrate him? Let me tell you, sometimes back if we have a reflection from where we are coming from, our parents did not celebrate us. 
we grew. I don't know if it was. <laughs> it, it's like we grew from the barracks. There was no encouragement. Some of us, we are self-made. Some of us were just pushed aside. It is only a few, the godly fathers, who knew how to walk with their children. Walk with their child. Make that difference. Hallelujah. We cannot afford to say that we are Africans. You know, we say African fathers, we cannot tell us what to do. Uh -uh, we have our daddy here. He is an African but a Christian father, right? And he has instilled value in his children. Pastor Sarah, you didn't know what Pastor Sarah did. She almost shed tears when she got a hug from, from daddy, right? Because she traveled down the memory lane. How will your children travel that memory lane? Will they remember the care that you gave? Will they remember the caring that you did? You know, sometimes you want to provide. And I know my daddy will not be online. My daddy alikuwa nakuja hata kama ni satano usiku na nyama. Usiku na tumelala. Tunamushwa. Ati nyama ipikwe. Ya ya naanza kulala, analala. Asubuya na uliza. Nyama ilienda wapi. Tunamuambia si ulisema ipikwe. Nasema nani? Sasa wakati huo pride yake ilikuwa juu kabisa alikuwa amefika mwisho sababu ame provide lakini providing at the wrong time It is okay to provide but make sure you provide it at the right Lakini sasa wewe unakuja kuamsha watoto watoto wamelala na wewe ulale sasa hata nyama ikikuliwa haujui ilikuliwa na nani Unaanza kusema nitakuwa nikileta vitu mnakula mi bila mimi hapana it is because you providing but doing it in the wrong carry your children carry your family be there Eh hey, ninaona wengine wanacheka kumbe sio kwetu tu <laughs> it, it, it used to happen but let us find ourselves in the Bible. Let us be the Christian father that we can. The best. Hallelujah. The aspect of care. Not giving up. Even when the struggle is so strong. Don't give up on your children. Don't give up on your wife. Wives, don't give up on your husbands. Don't. Let us walk together carrying one another. And this one will bring out the best in us. Hallelujah. Sami, take me to 1 Thessalonians 2, 11 and 12. So, Pastor Sarah, when you are reading this, I was like, okay, you want to preempt what I had, huh? Okay, Mama Ani, thank you for leaking my notes to Pastor Sarah. <laughs> yeah, it, it seems that you leaked these notes. Yeah, but, but now I thank God that they are written. <laughs> So, 1 Thessalonians 2, 11 and 12. For you know that we dealt with each of you as a father deals with his own children. So, there is a way a father deals with his own children. And how did they do it? Verse 12, encouraging. Wow, encouraging. Do you encourage your children? Do you encourage your children? A father encourages the children, even when you find, even when that report form, you know, back home we were used so much glued to the report forms, right? Here we call them report cards and everything. Even when the report card is reading differently, you still encourage them. Even when you get that bad report from the village, you still encourage your child and tell them it will be better tomorrow. This is the ways of a father. But what do we do as fathers? What do we do? I want to read a scripture here which says what? Colossians 3.21. Sami, can you give us Colossians 3.21? And then we'll go back to 1 Thessalonians. Because I want us to find the father in us. Colossians 3.21. And I know so many of us want to to read verse 20, 
Because that is the most popular, verse 20. Can you give us verse 20 first? Let us see 320. Because this is the most popular. And each parent would want to hear this. That children, obey your parents in everything. For this pleases the Lord. How? Oh, this one we like. And even when we want them to submit, you read out the Bible, you whip it out and say, read this for yourself. And then, unawauliza, ni mimi nimesema. Si ni Biblia imesema. Ni Biblia inasema namna gani. Watoto muti nani? Wazazi. Twende verse 21. Let us look. Fathers, do not embitter your children or they will become are you a source of discouragement to your children? Do you embitter them? Yani wewe unawasukuma, unawasukuma, unakuwa kikwazo. Are you a discouragement? Because now, Paul, in the same same text from where we read in the book of 1 Thessalonians, he is telling them, we dealt with you like a father deals with his own children. One, encouragement. And now he is also reminding the church in Colossus that you should not be a discouragement. Saying the same thing but differently. Do you embitter your children and then become a discouragement? We should become an encourager to your child. You should lift them, lift their spirits. So many of us, we grew being called names. We cannot afford to call our children the same names. We cannot afford. We need to be an encouragement. Lift their spirit. If they may not know much, but they are depending and waiting upon you to lift them. Just tell them it will be well. It is going to be fine. Yes, your choice. Yes, this can happen. You are going to make it. Just that word of encouragement. But many a times we want to fight our children because we seem to be superior. Remember, we are only stewards. Praise the Lord. We say, and I say this, one of the roles of a father is to reproduce and nurture. Reproduce and nurture. You reproduce yourself and you nurture that which you bring forth. But how do you carry it on? What kind of a copy would you want to see? Because the, whatever you are bringing, you, you are Nurturing is your true likeness. Do you want to see your true copy? You will find it in your child. You discourage that child. They have all the opportunities, but they cannot go beyond that level. Because you're not telling them it is possible. They might get to a point of stagnation. We need to be an encourager. Hallelujah. First Thessalonians, sum me back again. Three, what are, the other, what are the other things that they say they will do? First Thessalonians, 2, 11 and 12. Because Paul was very careful, encouraging, comforting. Do you comfort them? Or do you, think, do you ever think that your children go through a, a rough road? You, you, you might think they are strong because you provide. You might think that they are okay because they come home and keep quiet and laugh as you talk. But they have challenges. A load of challenges. Yes, I shared sometimes with uh, a few of my girls here. And they were telling, the, telling me the challenges that they go through in school. But when we find them at home, we think everything is okay. But they are challenged. Do we listen to them that we may comfort them? Before you comfort someone, you must listen. Do we listen? Do we listen ever to our children? How I pray that we may give them an ear. That we may become fathers who will be celebrated. That they will say, I hear. And whatever you are telling me, but sometimes we are very quick to respond. We are very quick to judge them. And yet we do not want to listen to them. Listen to their challenges. The challenges that they are growing in. Some of us might never understand. 
Yes, they might never understand. And in this land, you hear the issues of bathrooms in high school, right? It happens. Those who are quick and eager to listen to what they are saying, there are so many challenges. We have transgenders here. Back home, we grew with nothing. That was nothing. We could not even think. But here, there are issues. Even the way they address one another. Nouns and pronouns here have become an issue, right? You, you go, somebody wa, was telling me, you go and say, hi, 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 miss who? What did you call me? What did you say? And that, that, that one becomes a big issue. And when your child is coming home, you think everything is okay. And the only what you are concerned about, mom, what will you eat? They need more than that food. They need you to listen to them. They need an ear. They need that comfort. But how will you comfort if you do not listen? How I pray that we may have a changed attitude as we bring up our children. One as if you as we bring up our children, because it is not easy. Many a times, we do not listen. And do you know what we, we, we are used to saying as Africans and as African parents? That's how we say, And you know the flow of words. You dismiss them as if they are not growing, as if they are not facing challenges. Be a comforter. Bia, do you see the father in you now? Do you listen to your children? Do you give them an ear? Baba Grace is saying uh, on and off. On, we, we should be very careful what we are doing. And urging you to live lives worthy of God. Who calls you? And if there is any challenge that we should be able to address right now is the way we live. Is the way we live. You cannot tell your children to live a godly life whereas we are not living a godly life. If you want to know the bitter truth of every family, ask the children. Yes, I'm your pastor, but if you want to know the bitter truth of my family, ask my daughters. They will tell you. They might be open and they will tell you, you call him a pastor? Who? Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. That's a very brutal man. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a very insensitive man. We should urge ourselves to live a godly life. There is no way. It, children are very open. Very, very open. And they will tell you what they see and what comes from you. Let us watch our walk because we cannot be telling them and we are not doing it. Telling them this is the way of God and you are not following that way. We should lead by example. I said when I was starting that we lead by example in matters of faith. There is no way we will be going this direction and you are telling them this is the way that we should be taking let us walk our talk in the Christian walk. As parents, we are bringing out a family. In the animal kingdom, when in the jungle, the monkeys have a rule. And they say what? Monkey see, monkey do. Monkey see, vile nyani inafanya, na ye mutoto ata, imi si jaita mutu nyani, Lakini, I'm just saying, man ke si? So they will do as you do. They will talk as you talk. They will respond as you respond. What about the father in you? Ask your neighbor. What is the father in you doing? What is the father in you? <laughs> the father in you. How I pray. Today we are celebrating fathers. But it is good to understand and ask ourselves, do I really need that celebration? Do I really deserve that celebration? Because sometimes we are hyping issues and celebrating 
tutasenda tuende tuseme sasa ni Father's Day and we were celebrated but it is goes beyond that celebration there is a whole lot to be done as we celebrate as we carry on my fathers it is not over because god is on our side we can be able to do it parents we can be able to bring up this family we can be able to encourage our children. We need to be compassionate. There are so many things that need to be done. When you read the accounts of Brother Paul into issues of family issues, he is calling each one of us to be an encourager, each one of us to be so loving, each one of us to be compassionate, going beyond. You know, sometimes we have our own boundaries but we are called to go beyond. Thank you, Baba Grace. Allow me to use you again and your dear wife. Because when Julius came to you and told you, this is the way I want to go after high school. This is what I want to do. What did you do? There was resistance because you had your own ways. But now you had to break the boundaries and let him be. You encouraged him. And now he is a happy graduate knowing that I'm going ahead with the support. We need to go beyond. We need to let our children be. We need to be there for them. Encourage them. Tell them it is well. Mama Sally, I know it was a struggle with Sally. Yes, but when she said, this is what I want to become, then nobody can stop them. We need to encourage them. And then they will have that pride forever. But I always remember, let me tell you, sometimes back when, um, after high school, my brother Robert here knows my dad, he's been a good friend with my dad. But now, uh, when I was debating with dad what I wanted to do, I wanted to join one of the college into electricals and electronics and everything. My dad told me, you know what, in our family, it is automatic and it becomes easy. One, you become a driver, then you get into a mechanic. Here, in a kuanga in the fingertips. No, 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 this cannot happen. I don't want to go that. And that was the end of it. Because he had his way. And not my, do you think I was encouraged? But later on, now after a few years, we had to talk and talk and talk again. Do not let your children miss that opportunity. Encourage them. Be that father. When you walk down that memory lane, and your children walk down the memory lane, they will be saying, yes, our parents were there for us. Let us not be celebrated. And saying, hawanilatei yatanguo, hawanilatei, weh. Because Paul is saying, do not embitter your children or else they become discouraged. So many of us are discouraged out there. So many children are discouraged and the discouragement did not come from their peers but it came from that, the parents. Hapo jikoni ndiyo maneno ilianzia. Because you discourage them. Encourage them. They might be young, but they need to be told, we are walking with you. We are there for you. We will walk this journey with you. And the Lord will see you become. Hallelujah. The Father in you. Ask your neighbor, is the Father in you? In line with God's ways. Muulize, sasa, wewe unamuogopa nini? Nita kuangaliria tu. Be the father in the Bible. Be the father in the Bible. Don't just be the African father. Be the father in the Bible. Be an encourager. Yes, be a loving God. Be a compassionate father. Be a compassionate father. Be a lover. Be an encourager. Hallelujah. Do not just be a provider. Provision. Ah. Na hapa unatuambia watoto wangu wanakaa vizuri. 
what? Guo. Singuo tunanunua na inaisha. But what about the inner issues? Let us build the inner person. As we purify the outer, let us build their inner that they may be able to be strong and overcome. There are so many challenges and it feels nice when somebody tells you, I will be there with you. The young men yesterday at the graduation were telling your son, yes, we'll be there for you. We'll be there for you. How does it feel when somebody tells you, I'll, I'll be there with you? Well, can you tell me? Nituangie Nagos. Sininamna iyo. Yes. Nivutie waya. Nisiniko hapo. It feels nice and people might not do too much. But you know you have a support system. But we are not just going to be called fathers and we are absent. And we are not there. We are not encouraging our children. We are not able to carry them. Provision is not the end of everything. Provision. It's not the end of everything. Let us be there. Let us make that difference in our families, in the lives of our children. And how I pray that the Father in me may bring out the best in my children. The Father in me may bring out the best for the church. The Father in you may bring out the best and you will see it. Hallelujah. And in the days to come, utajiona kwa hao watoto wewe utajiona kwa hao watoto kwa hivyo kama ni mchezo mchezo tu wewe unacheza cheza kwa nyumba issues now and then fujo fitina mambo zingine you will find this discouragement and you will discourage your children i thank god now we have moved away najua we have grown from an african setup where vita our mothers used to be Sister, sitaki kusema. Vita ilikuwa order of the day. And a small issue turned out to be war. Sindio? Na, na sisi watoto ulikuwa tunafikiria, tunafurahia. Ugiona baba anampiga mama. Which side will you take? The mothers? Na sikuizi hao waze at their old age. Do you think they will get anything from us? Ukienda kutoa hata kama ni miyamoja. Unakumbuka uchungu mama alisikia. Amuambia mzee, kumekauka sana. Because you are a discouragement. And you saw like your mother was being tortured for no reason. Wengine wa mama walikuwa napigwa sababu ya hawa watoto. So when as a child you grow, do not think somebody said last time that we have the conscious, subconscious and the unconscious mind, Right? Everything is put back, but sometime it will come back. Na inakuja wakati mimi niko na pesa. E, nikienda kwa mze, ninaangalia mama hivi, na muambia wacha, kwa, tu, wacha tuende shopping. Mze tu na muletea bake, tubako. Sawabu hiyo tiyo anatumia. Kumekauka sana. Nodo kikiaga bake. Hmm? Wezi kosa hii. Because of what we went through, we need to be very careful. We receive what we give. Amen? We receive what we do. What? what you are giving today, you will receive it from your children. So wisely. Panda mbegu vizuri. Waonyeshe njia. And they will be proud of you. Hallelujah. Happy Father's Day. Hallelujah. When you are going to father as well, and I'm a born as our simul is a that's a way to knock one to knock one of happy. Some and unis, I know you saying, Oh, my daughters are young. Uh uh, right now, start now because in the near future, you will reap the benefits. Hallelujah! Let the father in you be in line with the ways of God, let the mother in you be in line with the ways of God. I wish you well. You have a blessed time as you celebrate fathers and may the Lord God bless you and keep you. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. God is gracious and he is so good. I love you all and I as a father, I'm proud because of what the Lord is doing in our lives.